Hey guys, it's August the 1st, 2013, and before I get into the meat of the video, I just want to do a little bit of uh, chart analysis, but just only a tiny little bit. Uh, I haven't been doing a lot lately just because the chart's not doing anything, and um, you know, as I've said before, it's not really supply and demand or technical analysis that's in charge of the chart. Uh, it's other forces, but um, you know, we can still have a look at it and see where it's been and try and guess what that might mean. Um, but here's the five hourly chart, uh, so we're looking at several days here, and it's hard to miss this downtrend that's been happening over the past at least week um, since that one move up that tried to break above $20 and doesn't seem like it's been able to hold that, so um, that's coming down. So, um, But, you know, we could zoom out a little bit more and look at the daily chart, and then there's that downtrend right there on the right, and now it's hard to miss this uptrend here. Um, the last several weeks we've been moving up and it hit 18 bucks right there 1818 I believe and it's been moving sort of up since then so yeah it has been moving down recently but then if you zoom out a bit it's actually moving up but we could zoom out further and look at the weekly chart and here's those moves here it's hard to miss this down move if you look at the weekly chart and then if you zoom out again it's hard to miss this up move that we're currently in on the monthly chart. Um, we are at a low, but still up uh, in terms of the month. So um, five hourly chart looks like we're down recently. Daily chart makes it look like we're up recently. Weekly chart makes it look like we're down. And the monthly chart makes it look like we're up. So it's very mixed. All the uh, different time frames are showing totally different things. And to me, that's saying that we could be at a turning point in the price chart. And yeah, that would mean a bottom, essentially, um, where we are now. Could 1818 have been the bottom? Absolutely, it could have. But I'm not going to rule out a push down to 17 or 16 down here um, before anything else happens. That certainly still wouldn't break out of this long-term um, up move that we've been in, if you look on the monthly chart. So um, that's certainly possible. I've been expecting it, actually. But at the same time, I could totally see a move up easily to 22 bucks here in the next week or two. And uh, the resumption of perhaps something like that looks like this, and a uh, slow consolidation back to old levels of around 40 bucks or so, and then just boom. Um, it could go either way. But I do feel like we are sort of at a turning point of sorts. Um, because just all the different time frames on the chart are mixed. Some show that we're heading up, some show that we're heading down. Really, there's no direction at all. Um, and I think you can sense the indecision in um, the market and in the YouTube community. Uh, just a lot of really mixed feelings, a lot of people sort of thrown in the towel, a lot of people screaming um, buy, 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 a lot of people screaming sell, sell. So it's really mixed. And uh, to me, that says that there's going to be a decision made soon. The stock market made another new all-time high today. Here's the total number of Silver Eagles sold in July, 4.4. That number hasn't changed in a couple of days since I last reported. And here is the total for the year of 2013 so far, 29.45 million. And as you can see, 4.4 million for July is a very good month we've had. Um, just January that has beat that so far this year and indeed if you look back over the past 27 years that is one of the best months in fact it's tied for the best month of all time excluding the um, inflated January so we always get and uh, we can take these numbers now and put them into the graphs that we've been following all the year so far here's one of those graphs it measures in orange the best January, February, March, April, May, June, and now July of all time. And uh, that's going back over 27 years. So it kind of represents a dream year. It takes the best uh, month from all the different years in the past 27 and makes one year out of it. So that's kind of like the, um, the records to beat, basically. And here in green is 2013. And uh, as we've talked about in the past, some months the Mint likes to... Um, carry over a little bit of data onto the next month, like right here, and uh, that got dumped over here, and then right here they carried over a little bit, then right here they carried over a lot, and uh, that all ended up here. 
So, um, but that's an aside. What this really shows is that we are breaking or just simply tying all the old records uh, over the past 27 years for demand. It's absolutely through the roof, uh, unprecedented demand all year long. And July is absolutely no exception. And I'll give you a little view of what's coming in August. August's record was set back in 2011, and it was 3.68 million. So that's what we're hoping to meet this month. Uh, my own personal prediction, just going off a hunch, because I feel all of the July numbers were actually reported. I don't think anything was carried over for August 1st, because they knew this was going to be a record. As you can see, it's a record by quite a bit, about 47 or 48 percent over the previous record. So there was no way to hide that and no reason to carry over any numbers for August. So I think August's numbers are going to be a little light for that reason, and I believe if we get anywhere close to this number, they will um, just fudge it. So I think what the chart is going to look like is going to be something like that. We're going to end up just below so that they can avoid that uh, headline, all-time record August. Another graph I've been doing this year is this one. This is a Silver Eagle demand sales by year, going back from 2000 all the way to 2013, at least 58% of 2013, which is how much we've gone through so far up till the end of July. And as you can see, we are now just a shade under 30 million for 2013, and that beats all other years in history except for 2010, 2011, and 2012, which we are about to take out any time now. The uh, 2012 and 2010 records are probably going to be taken out sometime in uh, September, and this one I would say is going to be taken out sometime in October or November. On the right, in these two different color of blue bars, uh, we have my two different projections for 2013. The estimate A is in darker blue, and estimate B is in sort of a sky blue here on the right. And I've come up with this one here, just under 45 million, by taking the current amount, which is just under 30 million, and then adding on about 3 million ounces per remaining month for the year. Of course, we're going to end up with more than 3 million ounces. No month this year so far has been as low as 3 million. So that's a very conservative estimate. Uh, so there's five months left. We add 15 to this number. That's five times three, and we get 45. So 45, I think, is the minimum, and uh, this number here is in the 50s. I think that is the maximum. I'm going to guess it's going to be somewhere around 47, so that's where. That's right about there. Presto. Very roughly, this is what I think it's going to look like. And lastly, the graph that charts the price versus demand of silver bullion, and specifically silver eagles. And this is... January through July now, so you'll notice that it's slightly different. Uh, if you want to compare this to past divergence charts, it's it's different every month because that add, we add in another month. This now goes through July, so all those July numbers for each of these years had to be added onto the chart. So of course the scale's getting bigger. Started in the year more like uh, 10 or 15 over here, and now we're up to 30 million. But anyhow, uh, there's that 30 million or just under 30 million number uh, for demand that we have so far in 2013. And let's go ahead and add in the price um, down here in purple. There it is. This is done by taking the yearly high and divide that by a conversion factor to get the purple price chart to match up with the uh, green demand chart and be displayed on the same page. Otherwise, one would be uh, way up here and one would be way down here. So that just gets us to be able to compare the two side by side. And what we find is that the demand and the price sort of follow along. Uh, when price goes up, people buy more silver. When price goes down, people buy less silver. And the thing that is happening now is uh, in 2013 here, we're in this divergence between demand and price, and uh, we don't know exactly why that's happening. Another way to look at it is to go over here and look at the actual price chart. Um, you can do just the price chart, or we can do the highs with the conversion factor, or we can do both. And this just makes it even more obvious how, uh, as the price falls, the demand only just continues to rise. And uh, we've seen it a few times in the past, like right here, we had demand that was outstripping the price, demand way higher than price, and that was followed by a very large move upward in price, up to 50 bucks. So if something like that is in the works again here, with this massive demand and price divergence here, 
uh, we could be talking about a price move. Um, well, I won't even speculate, but uh, it would certainly be far uh, past that $50 price target that we had before. And no, I'm not talking about 2013. Um, as you can see, it takes a couple of years. Um, we were way outstripping in here, and the price didn't really peak for another two years. So it could be 2015 uh, if this pattern continues before we see that next high, which is, you know, it's significantly higher. It's up towards the three digits. So, um, but that it doesn't look like that's happening in 2013. In fact, we're languishing down in the $20 range, so uh, we're very far away from that right now, obviously. But that's the uh, the graphs that I've been following, and I'll continue to do so. And I'm interested to see what your comments are. But for now, I'll talk to you guys soon.